Welcome to 5 Minute School. In this video I want to discuss the organelles which are present inside the cell. So um, I want to begin with the um, cell membrane. So this is usually a double layer of phospholipids. Uh, we can see the cell membrane here is enclosing the cell and that's its function to enclose everything inside the cell and it also allows for the passage of molecules inside and outside of the cell. Now the cell membrane is usually dotted with um, membrane proteins which allow for the passage of molecules inside and outside of the cell to um, move either in and out of the cell and there's actually quite a few videos I've done previously on the um, type of transports to go inside and outside of the cell so check my previous videos and you'll see a good video there which would help you out if you're confused about that now following on from this we have a nucleus which contains the cells genetic information and it's organized into chromosomes and it's considered to be the control center of the cell so here we have um, the nucleus here it's the control center of the cell you can see inside the nucleus is a nucleolus and there's also ribosomes which are present inside um, we also have a mitochondria which is considered to be the power center of the cell respiration occurs here and this is where the ATP is generated and the ATP is used for a variety of different processes within the cell and also outside the cell as well now um, following on from this we have um, the endoplasmic reticulum oh sorry here is the mitochondria this is the nucleus here is the mitochondria these green structures which you can see here now uh, the next structure is the endoplasmic reticulum and there's two types you can have rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum the rough endoplasmic reticulum contains ribosomes on the outside and it processes the proteins produced by ribosomes so the ribosomes have produced the protein it binds onto the endoplasmic reticulum and there the protein passes into the endoplasmic reticulum and there it's processed by the endoplasmic reticulum but it's considered to be rough because there are ribosomes on the outside so it gives it like a rough appearance so you can see the dark structures here is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the ones without the ribosomes are the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and the function of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is to thin synthesize lipids phospholipids and steroids following on from this we have a Golgi apparatus and the function of this um, is to process and pack proteins and lipids produced by the cell um, I'm going to show you the Golgi apparatus in the image we have here so here we have the uh, Golgi apparatus here and so its function is to pack the lipids and proteins produced by the cell we also have lysosomes which contain digestive enzymes to engulf aged organelles food or bacteria which can be present so in the structure we have here so the image we have here we can see the lysosome is here we also have peroxisomes uh, there's no image in the diagram above but the function of a peroxisome is the enzymes inside it get rid of peroxides from the cell so it's very important to eliminate peroxides from the cell and finally I want to discuss ribosomes you can see there are some which are present on the endoplasmic reticulum and you also have free ribosomes here and they're also present inside the nucleus as well and the function of um, ribosomes is protein synthesis so to produce proteins now that's just the basics of um, the functions of each organelles I can either make a video separate from this going through each um, organelle and talking about it in depth and I think that's what I'll be doing in the um, videos to come so if you want to have these kind of videos write a comment below and um, I'll do my best to get these videos produced but this is just a basic overview of some of the organelles which are present inside the cell so thank you very much for watching um, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah if you have any questions write them below and I'll do my best to get back to you thank you